Last year, 61 competitors took on the toughest test of their lives as they try to conquer our three rounds of strength and endurance. And, they, and no, he doesn't. You came close. And he. None succeeded. And he's out. This season, 125 competitors come back to the course to see if they have what it takes to beat it all. Anyone who proves they have the skills to survive all four rounds will win 10,000 Robux and the title of Alpha Ninja Warrior Grand Champion. Today we will see the first of four groups of our field of 125 competitors take on the qualifiers course on Alpha Island. Only the top players from the group will prove they deserve to be part of the top 40 and move on to the semifinals. One dream, one chance, 10. Thousand Robux. This is Alpha Ninja Warrior. We're back for Alpha Ninja Warrior, and I'm your host, Alpha VR three seventy. Today, our third group of 31 competitors will take on the qualifying course, and we're going to see some new faces just like the last two weeks, including Tapoyas Kibi, The Use of Life, and Robotic Pie. But we're also going to see some familiar faces like the Frog Thing, Rocco23467, which was one of the three people to make it to the semifinals by failing the first obstacle and the man with the near perfect record in season one, Michael Skunk Fry. For more information on the course, I'm going to go down to the sidelines to tell you how this works. Today, the competitors will have to go through six obstacles to reach the buzzer at the very end. The first obstacle is the quintuple steps. The players will have to jump across each of the five tilted steps to get to the other side. If you get too low on any of them, you will trip and fall into the water. The second obstacle is the propeller swing. You have to jump onto the first propeller, time your jump to the rope, swing the rope, and then jump onto the second propeller where you have to time your dismount. The third obstacle is the salmon roll. As a horizontal version of the salmon ladder, you have to lock the bar into each of the cradles to roll the cylindrical shape down the track. The fourth obstacle is the rotating bridge. You have to time your footwork and your jump so you don't slide off of this 360 degree rotating bridge. The fifth obstacle is the flying bar by Lyrical Wonders. A modification from last season, you have to time your jumps and landings on each of the five cradles to land on the platform. The sixth obstacle is the warped wall, but also with a mega wall. On your first attempt, you can choose to go for the Mega Wall, and if you get up it in one try, you will earn 100 Robux and hit the buzzer. If you fail the Mega Wall, you will go to the normal Warped Wall, but you will only get two attempts. However, you do not have to go for the Mega Wall. If anyone clears the entire course, they will have a guaranteed ticket into the semifinals. However, if less than 10 people clear the entire course, then the rest of the spots will be determined by how far the players got and when they failed that obstacle, indicated by the red lines. We will start with warp wall fails and go in reverse order. First up is Rip Peanut Cry. He's rocking an afro right now, so let, let's see how he does. I don't know much about this competitor, but good luck to Peanut. He's off on the quintuple steps. How's he going to do? Oh, and he's already down. I think he just jumped way too early on the first step and misjudged his jump. Next up is I can count to 71. I'm not, I haven't heard anything about this competitor either, but good luck to this person. To the quintuple steps how are they going to attack this so far not but i just i don't know what happened there except i guess they just didn't get a jump off of that third step and but they're down in the water next up is oof 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 391 i'm excited to see how they do today it, i don't know what, 
what's on his shirt, it looks like some form of, of writing I've just never heard of before, but maybe it's something in Ninja, I don't know. Maybe it'll help him on today's course. But we haven't seen anyone beat the quintuple steps so far, so maybe he'll be the first to do it. And went through kind of quickly, and now he's onto the propeller swing. We know this obstacle can be very tricky, and just like that, he, lined, he jumped a bit too early, and that's all it takes, and he's down in the water. Next up is HJAA Man. Uh, we're in some fire, fire drip. I think that's like an Adidas hoodie or something, and literally fire shoes. I don't know where I can get that for myself, but now he's on to the course. All right, kind of low on those first two steps, but still not too bad. Now he's on to the propeller swing. All right, on to the rope. Oh, but falls barely short on that second propeller, and that will do it for HJAA. Let's see if that holds up. Next up is Super Gabe the Awesome. Let's see how he does. Good luck. He's wearing a ninja suit, so maybe he'll be good at these obstacles. But he's onto the quintuple step. He's lining himself up for every single jump. Going at a medium pace, not too bad. Now he's onto the propeller swing. Oh my gosh, went way too fast and he just couldn't control himself. And that's pretty much it for Super Gabe. After that, even more people failed the propeller swing from a variety of reasons, from messing up to the rope or just even not even landing in the water. But no matter what it was, people were just going out left and right on the propeller swing. Even people were getting taken out on the quintuple step as well. Next up is Fury Ninja Boy. Let's see how he does. Gives a wave to the crowd. And he's also dancing as well. Let's see if he can boogie his way down to the buzzer if he makes it there. And he's off onto the quintuple steps. Doing the jumping technique. Getting kind of low on those first two steps. But seems to work out alright. Now he's onto the propeller swing. Oh, a lot, a lot of speed, just too much for Fury to handle, and he is out. Next up is Nader5682, wearing all this Christmas drip, pretty nice. Last season, he fell on the quintuple steps in the qualifiers. He's hoping to not make the same mistake again, so hopefully we will see improvement today. But he's on to the course. He's definitely taking it with caution, but he did pretty all right. Now he's on to the propeller swing. What's he going to do on this? Oh, wait, he, he got it. How? He got it. But just not enough swing and he, an impressive result on the rope, but he just could not get past it. Next up is Sports Ant 123, rocking the gingerbread man costume. He's ready to prove that he might just be able to be up with the big dogs. I'll just be happy in the qualifiers because you know that 
It is very awesome to hear that he does not give up even whenever he fails over and over again. Those are one of the key aspects to being a true and great ninja. And he's also onto the propeller swing. He said he could do far jumps, which is what this obstacle is all about. He could be the first to do it. He has a pretty nice swing, but he's losing a lot of it. But he's on. Now the dismount. And he has it. Now he's on the salmon roll. How will he do it? Oh, but he hit the top part of that rung and he's down in the water. However, he's the first person to get here, so he might just be able to qualify. And on the start line is Tapoy is Kibby. Uh, let's just see how they do. I'm excited to see him run. Good luck to them. Jumping for joy at the start line, but now he's off. Onto the quintuple steps, taking a little bit in between each step to gather it all in, but now he's onto the propeller swing. Spinning around a bit quick, got onto the rope. Now just has to get to that same propeller, but gets caught up in the rope, uh, down in the drink, but GG Su Tapoy might not be enough to make it, however. Next up is Wacky Mackie, wearing the nice Adidas with the Adidas pants. Let's see how he does. Good luck to him. Here we go. And Mackie is off onto the quintuple steps. So far, not too bad. Pretty quick. Now they're going to this uh, propeller swing. Oh, but just did not aim correctly and fell just short of the rope. GG's to Mackie. Next up on the start line is 8-Bit Sonic 1. If you remember from last season, he was on the course, but he fell on the quintuple steps in the qualifiers. Let's see if he'll redeem himself this season. Lagging a little bit, but he's taking his time on each jump. And he has made it to the propeller swing. Alright, let's see how... He'll, oh, he went... Oh, he saved himself. He landed back on the platform. Lucky fall. Not sure if that was intentional or accident. But nonetheless, he's he's lagging a lot, but he's onto the road. Okay, he got a push and it's just enough. Now he's onto the salmon roll. Oh, but he overshot on that first jump, but not too bad considering what we've seen so far. He might qualify. Next up is the frog thing. You might know him as Guava Poopy Goopy from last season, where he made it to the semifinals but failed on the quintuple steps. Now he's the frog thing, and this year, it's all about redemption. Walking onto the course is Guava Poopy Goopy, and it looks like he's trying to copy me. Last season, I came into the course with low expectations for myself, and I thought I was gonna fail the first obstacle, to be honest. But I ended up clearing the first five obstacles, then going up the warped wall for my buzzer, and I thought it was gonna have a heavy seat. <laughs> then semifinals came, and things took a turn for the worst. Next up is Guava Poopy Goopy. Last time he came on as an imitation of me, but this time it looks like he's just wearing a banana, not copying anyone else. And the countdown goes off. He did do- It was a gut punch, failing the first obstacle in semifinals. It was sad, but this season, it's gonna be different. I can picture myself clearing the first, the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth, and then climbing up that warped wall to get my buzzer. I'm not gonna stop there. I'm going all the way. I'm not gonna have a poopy goopy anymore. I'm a frog thing. I'm gonna hit that buzzer. Well, let's see if he can hit that buzzer today. He's on to the quintuple steps. See if he can get his redemption from the semifinals. 
and it looks like he does. Now he's on to the propeller swing. You know, it's really interesting how he showed such emotion and how uh, he failed so early in the semifinals and how he really just wants to, you know, do better this season, which is, you know, it's all about, it's all about growth. That's what matters. But, you know, we still, he still has to get past qualifiers if he wants to get to the semifinals to get redemption. But now he's on to the salmon roll. All right, got the first jump. But it looks like he's pretty much in no man's land. This is not good at all. He tried to grab onto that top rung, but he just couldn't. He was stuck and he went into the water. But it still might be good enough to go on to the next round. Next up is Bowling Ninja 3. I'm excited to see how he does, especially since unfortunately he got into a car crash recently where to where uh, his wrist is a little bit damaged so it might affect his performance but it's so wonderful that he decided to came, to come out and compete today now he's on he made through the quintuple steps now he's on to the propeller swing let's see how he does with that wrist okay, taking a little bit of time And just comes up short and he is down in the water however brilliant effort for at least coming out here today next up is Snoopy Beagle 7 if I remember he did compete last season where he went out on the quintuple steps let's see if he'll make that same mistake again or get past it now he's off He's really taking a little bit of time just so he can line up each jump so he has near perfection. Seems to work out. Now he's on to the propeller swing. Taking a little bit of time before he gets on. Going not too fast. But so that means he has okay, going a little bit faster, so. Oh, but he just didn't get a jump, I guess. I don't, I don't really know what happened there, but. I don't know if that will be enough to qualify, however. Next up is Square Aswall 09. I don't know anything about this competitor, so I'm really excited to see where this goes. He might have some hidden potential. He is wearing all red on his torso and his legs, so pretty interesting fashion choice. But he's onto the quintuple steps. Moving really quickly, actually. Now he's on to the propeller swing with barely any time lost at all. Pretty nice swings. He is going insanely quick. Now he's on to the salmon roll. Okay, not too bad so far. Perfect. First, that was the first drop. He only has one more drop. Very nice. And now he's onto the rotating bridge. The first person today to get here. How is he going to attack this? Okay. Shifted a little bit. All right. Oh, oh, it's it's tilting. You almost got it. How will it? Oh, but he fell short of the dismount. Almost made it, but... That was the best run we've seen so far, so I'm pretty sure he will qualify. Next up is Gavin ADY 346. If you remember from last season, he went out on the quintuple steps in the qualifiers. Will he get his revenge today? He is definitely looking for it. So good good luck to him. A little bit of a hesitation at the start, but he's off on the quintuple steps. Now he's on to the propeller swing. We're going very fast, but still just jumped too early, and he's down in the water. It looks like he might have rage quit. That might not be enough to move on. Next up is Rocco23467. If you remember him from last season, he was one of the three people to fail the quintuple steps, but still somehow move on to the semifinals. 
where he ended up failing on the quintuple steps again. Or will he get his revenge on the quintuple steps just like Wubsy AUTTP? And yes, he will. And now he is on to the propeller swing. He took a little bit of a pause. I'm pretty sure he is excited and happy that he just got through that, considering that he has never gone past it before. But now he has. He's on to the rope. How's he going to do? And the dismount, and now he's on the salmon roll. He's taking a long pause, but at least he did cross the line. Remember Cyrus last week, he forgot to cross the line and that cost him the entire season. But he hit the top rung, which made him go straight down into the water, but he probably will qualify. Next up is Brando4433. Last season, he competed and he made it to the swing grabbing qualifiers, but messed up on the cargo net, I believe. So let's see how well he does this season. Let's see if he does better or worse. And he's off onto the quintuple steps. He's just going right for it, not doing the jumping technique. Uh, a little bit slow, but not too slow. He's onto the propeller swing. And he, he got caught up in the rope and he's down on the propeller swing. I don't think that would be good enough for him to qualify, however. Next up is 50 Gaming Bonnie decked out in the purple with uh, the sword's on his back with a nice looking crown and I'm pretty sure that's a chain necklace that says pro on it. So let's see how pro he is at our course today. And he's off with a little bit of hesitation on the first step. He's continuing, not, you know, wasting too much time on the others. Doing pretty nice so far. Now he's on to the propeller swing. And he gets to the rope. How will he do here? Oh, oh my gosh, a huge swing. And he got it. Now he's on to the salmon roll. We've only seen one person complete this today, and that'd be Square As Wall. Okay, a little, little stuck, but he got the first drop. Now. The second drop, very nice, and he is on to rotating bridge. How will he do here? Oh, oh, okay, he might get it. Oh, but he just mistimed his dismount, jumped a little bit earlier than he should have. Maybe if he ran a little bit more, he would have gotten the dismount. But overall, very excellent performance. Our second to last competitor today is Robotic Pi. He is pretty well known in the Roblox Ninja Warrior community. However, he's never ran on Alpha Ninja Warrior, and I don't know where his skills are compared to other people. So it'll be pretty interesting to see him run today. He's onto the quintuple steps, taking a little bit of time on each step, but that's not a bad thing. But He's on to the propeller swing. Oh, but he just aimed way too far, way too late. And that is it for Robotic Pi. GG's though. Our final runner of the night is Michael Skunk Fry. Last season, up until stage two, he had the perfect season, getting first place overall in every single round, qualifiers, semifinals, and stage one. But it all fell short whenever he fell on the lightning bolts in stage two, and he's looking to make up for it. And remember, the person with the 10th place time is Murder Mystery Master 158, getting to the propeller swing with 7.673. But Michael has already gotten there faster, which means they are out of this competition, and Michael will be moving on to the semifinals. Now it's just all about whether Michael wants to clear and maybe rack up some Robux on the Mega Wall. But first he has to get there and he still has two more obstacles starting with the rotating bridge. 
He's moving with great speed. Only 37 seconds on the clock and only 40 going into flying bar. He is not stopping for anything. One more jump. Now the dismount and he's done it. Now he's going for the war wall. Will he go for the mega wall? No, he is not. He's going for the normal war wall. And he has done it. Michael Skunk Fry has cleared, keeping up with the perfect streak, except for stage two. He is going to the semifinals. Here are the results. Once again, in first place is Michael Skunk Fry, clearing with 58.217 seconds. Second is Square Aswall 09, getting to the rotating bridge with 39.783 seconds. Third is 50 Gaming Bonnie getting to the rotating bridge with 48.669 seconds. Fourth is Sports Ant 123 getting to the Salmon Roll with 23.611 seconds. Now fifth, sixth, and seventh, their times were within one second of each other. Fifth was Rocco 23467 getting to the Salmon Roll with 35.083 seconds. Sixth is 8-Bit Sonic 1 getting to the Salmon Roll with 35.475 seconds. 7th is the Frog Thing getting to the Salmon Roll with 35.833 seconds. And now 8th, 9th, and 10th were also within 1 second of each other. Oof, 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 391 got 8th, getting to Propeller Swing with 7.243. 9th is Wolfu Fan 91 getting to Propel Propeller Swing with 7.318 seconds. And then last is the Epic Skylander YT getting there with 7.668 seconds. Thank you all for watching another fantastic episode of Alpha Ninja Warrior, and I will see y'all next time. Coming up on the next episode of Alpha Ninja Warrior. Next week, we will see our final group of 32 competitors take on the qualifying course to finish out the top 40. Competitors in that group will contain It's Vibes, Dr. Ninja 64, Ronald 90E, and Pharrell.